Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's stream. We have gotten started on chapter three. I knew we would make it that far today. So yeah, but chapter three is going to take us a while because there's a lot more fiend tales in this chapter uh, than there was in two. So we're back to a long one like we had for chapter one. Uh, let me get the audio going on the game so you guys can hear the vibing music. Okay, there we go. First stop is Guado Salam. We gotta go in the chateau and uh and get something something. Get a little something something. Mm -mm -mm. Should be down here, I think. Yeah, we don't need to watch the scene, so we're good. Do I have to go upstairs before I can get downstairs? I don't know, the item I need is downstairs. Maybe I have to do something up here. Yeah, I guess I have to talk to LeBlanc first. Hey, LeBlanc, what's up? Leave me alone. No. I refuse. <laughs> hey, Jane. How's it going? Girl, that Pinterest that y'all made, I assume Noms made it. That shit is fire. I'm gonna go look through it a little in a lot more detail after the stream today, but I took just a quick peek beforehand. It's so good. I'm so excited. So excited. I'm like so hyped now. Like when wants to get out. Like I just can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, I know it's going to be a minute because like Friday is the, the reveal, but I'm sure opening is going to be farther than that. But you know, I'm already like, why can't I have it now? Noms gets the credit. Okay, that's what I figured. That's what I figured. They went hard for real. For real. It looks so good. Auto Regan? Blue Elemental can auto Regan? That's not fair. That's OP. I think we're going to go full Steam Friday? Really? So you're going to release in like what? Like open on Monday or something? Because I don't think. Do we have enough characters right now? Uh, okay. Yes. All right, I can't, I can't remember which one of these rooms it's in, but anyways, the item we need is in one of these rooms. Okay, not this one. Maybe it's over here? I don't like what all these secrets if I may you're free to do as you please why not whatever this Vegna gun it's not letting me skip nothing the likes of we let Sphere me Hunters skip have any... but if the boss knew knew if any you guys got it right. if only she oh I see it it's this guy give me that sphere When did you sneak in, old man? You can't expect me to remember it. <clears throat> it can't... I'm afraid not, Arthur. Right. Can I skip this? Nope. Just mm -hmm. click past this. Text. Okay. Uh, I guess that wasn't it, because that gave me Galsphere. Like um, yeah, sure. Lady Yuna, a rumor has been going around here. Perhaps you've... Okay, it's Crimson Sphere 4 that we need. Yeah, that didn't give it to us. It gave us this guy. I 
I guess it's in the last room. Can we just walk there? In this chapter? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat him up, fiends. David, you're spending too much time on that haste and slow and stuff instead of just attacking. Those guys are going to get their um, defense up and then you're going to have a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah, use the flare. There we go. That's how you do it. Band. Okay, it must be the thing that's up here. I had forgotten which item was where, but this must be it. Yeah, okay, Crimson Sphere 4, that's what we need. Alright, so that's what you need to come get from Guado Salam. So that we can still get down into the uh, Den of Woe at the end to get the blue bullet. Back up on the airship. Okay, I don't think that was nearly enough levels to get fiend tails for those two, but let's just check really quick. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Fiend has no life readings. What? Okay, but it's not release time yet, but that's very, that's creepy. Okay. Um, and then who do I have here? Blue Elemental? Okay, yeah, they only got two story levels. All right, next we are gonna head over to the Calm Lands. There is a Calm Sphere um, scene that we have not seen. A scene that we haven't seen in the calm lands and uh so we're gonna head over there and we need to make sure we place a calm sphere here in the chocobo ranch it's up here all right so we gotta make sure shin replaces it there we go thank you shinra Calm lands, what's up, right? What's up? All right, there's another calm sphere we need to do. And that's on Meehan High Road. Because we want to make sure that we do... It probably doesn't have anything to do with the temple. Seems some... Machina are on... Let's mangle those mocking. Yuna? Yeah, let's do it. Because we learned that we can't... <laughs> okay, we can't like not start mission. this mission to place the comm sphere. If we want to place the comm sphere, we have to at least get the mission started. Now, we don't have to finish it. We just have to make it to the middle and make sure that Shin replaces the comm sphere. So that's what we're going to do, just like we did during our last playthrough. So we're not actually trying to win this mission or anything like that. Is this game as sad as Final Fantasy X? No. It is not. Okay, so the whole point of this game is to show that, like, you don't always have to choose a uh, sacrifice to get what you want. It's like, it's kind of like Yuna has grown up from the trauma that she experiences in Final Fantasy X, 
and she very adamantly chooses hope um, to say that like we're not going to do that again. We're not going to say that we have to sacrifice these things just for for the greater good. We can choose a world where everyone gets to win. Um, so no, this game is very hopeful. It's a it's a pretty it's a pretty logical like growing up maturing type of uh, progression that Yuna goes through in her sort of like life philosophy based on the experiences that she's had. So no, this game is not sad. I mean, there are sad parts to it, but it's not sad in the way 10 is sad. Yeah, it's good. I really like it. I really like it. When it first came out, I was not that into it, but then as an adult, I went back and actually beat it and um, realized the error of my ways. I was wrong, and this game is good, and it's a really perfect sequel to 10, story-wise and, and Yuna's character development-wise. Yeah, this will be, this is the second New Game Plus. This is our third playthrough that we've done on Twitch. Um, the, there's, the first playthrough that I did, like, really goes through and reviews, like, the story part of it itself, if you're interested in that. Um, and it's in a Final Fantasy X-2 playlist on my YouTube channel. And because uh, 10 2 is kind of unpopular compared to 10, um, I don't know if there's a whole lot of playthroughs really talking much about 10 2 in that way on YouTube. I think there's probably some like video essay style analysis videos of it, but I don't know if in if that really happens in the Let's Plays of 10 2, the way it does in the Let's Plays of 10 that are on there. After I beat 10, I'll probably play 10 2. Oh good, oh yeah. You got to home, right? You had told me that. Where? What part are you on for 10 right now? Like how far past the home part are you? Because I think that was the last I heard. But then of course the holidays happened and everything, so I assume you're much farther. Okay, one more screen, and then we don't have to finish this little mini game. Okay, there we go. Make sure he places it. Okay, perfect. Haven't played much recently. It was the part where the village where Titus meets Waka was destroyed. Uh, board airship. It should have been home that was destroyed. Riku's Riku's homeland. Bisei doesn't get destroyed. So you must have stopped around then, but that is the first like really ridiculously super sad part, so I'm not surprised that that made you take some pause. <laughs> this is very sad. That part makes me cry every time. All right, so I don't... Yeah, they haven't leveled up enough. So anyway, but we need to swap because we need to go grab some blue bullets from this chapter. So I'm gonna take their Iron Dukes off so I can give the back to the girls. Uh, oh no, he has a Ragnarok and Ring, okay. Okay, it was just Payne's Iron Duke, got it. Okay, let's put the girls back in. Yeah. 
And we're gonna go to Thunder Plains. There's a couple of blue bullets we can pick up in Thunder Plains. Um, oh, I didn't mean to enter from here. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't mean to do it like that. We need to actually go to Makalania and enter from Makalania. Oh, no, it's going to make me do the travel agency SOS if we do that. Okay. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we are going to go from the Thunder Plains and just go up. Holditis' dad disappearing 10 years ago and then might actually be alive since he was Yuna's dad's guardian is so sad. Yeah. Yeah. Come get some. I don't want to, like, spoil it for you because, like, the reveals are insane in that game. If you've not played it before, you know. But, yeah. Titus' dad is a whole thing. I would love someday to have a prequel uh, that's, like, Yuna's dad, Titus' dad, and Orin, and the adventures those three got up to. There's been rumors over the years that that would eventually, like, happen or something like that, but it's never actually been a thing that was made, but Turn I would off. love it if it would exist and I could see those three go on their um, pilgrimage. Oh yeah, there's Sid crying over there. We're not going to help him with that. Oh no, Yuna! Get back up. There we go. No sleeping, Yuna. No sleeping. I don't mind spoilers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, whatever, like, um... You know, whatever you think about Titus's dad being Sin at this point in the game, like, it's so much sadder. That's what I'll say. Like, it's so much sadder than whatever you're thinking right now about that plot point. Okay, there are two blue, blue bullets we can get here. And I just realized I killed one of them, so that was dumb. Um, let's see. Let's give you a high potion. <clears throat> One of them's from that, um... Or maybe that was a Bolt Drake we saw. Anyway, it's Bolivara. We're looking for a Bolivara and a Malboro. Bolivara can give us, um, Fire Breath. And he's in a couple different places. And then a Malboro can give us Bad Breath. And he's in the Thunder Plains and in Besaid. Yeah, maybe I didn't mess up. I think maybe that was a Bolt Drake we were fighting before, not of Olivara. Try to pay better attention, if I can make sure. So hopefully some of those will pop up. Yeah, what is that? That's okay, that's a Bolt Drake. Yeah, that's not gonna help us. And the Bolivara, in addition to being in the Thunder Plains, is also in the Moonflow. Oh, wait, there's a Malbro. Okay, fantastic. Let's get this Watcher. Okay. Now we just need him to Bad Breath. I think the girls are in a pretty good position where if he Bad Breaths, he'll get all of them. So that's good. So just do it. Oh, I meant to potion pain. What the heck? Potion on pain. Use the bad breath.
He's picking on pain a lot. Is there a trick to get him to use the bad breath? Do I need to damage him a little bit? I don't want- I'm scared to kill him. Let's attack him again, though. Come on, use bad breath. I'm listening. I'm just making strawberry muffins. Oh my god, Jane, I want one. Share. Strawberry muffin sounds so good. We got um Dunkin' Donuts the other day. Um, and uh because they had a pink velvet macchiato, so I had to have one. And I got a blueberry donut and it was so good. A strawberry muffin sounds like similarly delicious. Why is he not doing... Okay, let's attack him again. Yeah, Yuna doesn't do much damage, but that's probably a good thing. I'm just gonna keep attacking him a bit. I did throw a handful of blueberries as well. Oh my god, but yes, they're packed to the pound, uh, with a pound of strawberries. Oh my god. Oh my god, Jane. That sounds so good. And I put them in a little pink polka dot muffin wrappers. Why are you so cute? I'll post picture if they turn out cute. Please. Please, why are you so adorable, Jane? How, do, how dare you? Stop it. You're too cute. Oh my god. Okay, I feel like there must be some trick to this that I do not know. It only takes like 200 something damage for him to do the little like critical hit animation, so I don't understand. I found myself in this niche world of having a blast making cute things for my kids' lunches. Oh my god, I love that. <gasps> Yay, there we go. That's what we wanted to see. Bad breath, everybody got it. Okay, let's do some remedies. Everybody needs it. Uh, remedy on Riku. Um, I'm a little bit addicted. Are you gonna be one of those moms that sends the- the kid to school with, like, the cutest fucking lunches in the world? I feel like that would be so you. Like, the bento box moms? Adorable. Okay, let's let them all charge up so we can chain. Chain, chain, chain! 
I had a period where I got super into that and I would make like not like not like Instagram cute okay let's be let's be real not Instagram cute but I would make like cute lunches for me to take to work and it was the funnest thing it was so fun they were not picture worthy but they were cute to my standards and my co-workers thought they were cute you know if that becomes my hobby it is what it is I did it for a couple of years and it was like really so fun Okay, so that's one of the blue bullets you can get in uh, in Chapter 3. So we're going to try to get the Bolivara one as well. They might just be in the northern part of Thunder Plains a bit more or something. But anyway, we got to go all the way north either way for the other thing we need to do here. And we have another chance for to encounter the Bolivara in Moonflow. So we might just go there because we do have to stop by there next. I'm so glad they got bad breath all at the same time. That was awesome. Could not have asked for better. There we go. The two little cat kids in the gazebo. Let's say hello. You guys better watch out with horns. Okay, we've seen all this dialogue before. We're just trying to get to the end. We cannot return to mountain. And you expect to find Yes. Where does Lady you Okay. I'm going to wait 30 seconds for our friends to get back from the ad break. Before I reveal what we're choosing. We're choosing the one we haven't chosen yet, so you can probably already guess if you've seen the other playthroughs. All right, there we go. Welcome back from the ad. Thank you so much for tolerating those. I really appreciate it. Okay, Leon and A, this is the big reason why we came here. We're gonna tell them to go to the moon flow because we have not seen that scene Hope yet. Might know something. So that's what we're gonna tell them. Muffins are in, catch me Leon up. You haven't a missed a thing. To look. Thank you, we waited that. for you. We waited for you to make Dumb that selection. Okay, we're telling Liam and A to go to the moon flow because y'all haven't seen that scene yet. So we will see that scene in the next chapter because we saw the other two okay so now the only thing left to do here in the thunder plains is to see if we get the bolivara um so that we can learn the fire breath and if we don't get it that's okay we'll hunt for them in in the moon because we're going to stop there next because they also appear there So there's just a lot of blue bullets that you can get in Chapter 3, hence using the girls so much as opposed to our fiends. But that's okay, we need some level ups for them anyways. Chocobo! Okay, we're not going to catch a chocobo, because that's going to be one of the scenes. One of the scenes we need to get is when we don't catch a chocobo, what that does to Clasco. You know everything. <laughs> well, Jane, I have a secret. I have a secret. It's 
called practice and research. <laughs> so I do not know everything. Um, but I want to show off like the whole game. You know, when like, I play a game for you guys, I want to show everything. So I don't want you to miss out on any scenes or tidbits or anything. All right, we're gonna board the airship. We're gonna go back to, we're gonna go over to Moonflow and try to see if we can find a Bolivar there. Cause that's another spot that we need to place a comm sphere. So comm sphere placement is on this side. And then I think for finding a Bolivara, probably need to go to the other side. Would be my guess of where they are. I think they're gonna be on this side of the moon flow, not the or first side. An all-inclusive stream artist. Oh my god, thank you, Jane. I try, I try. <laughs> I try. Cause like the one I think of like streaming a game. I think there's like, it's like different than when you're just playing it, right? When you're streaming it, it's either like some kind of challenge run I think is valuable. Um, I think doing 100% runs are valuable. I think doing first playthroughs are valuable because that has a certain entertainment value. Um, but I think when you're streaming a game, you should be adding something to it other than just playing the game. You know what I mean? And no shade to anybody that, that does that, that has entertainment value for their games for like, uh, in uh, like other ways but when I think about like the streamers that I like to watch um, it's it's how they play the game differently than than it would be as an experience of just like me playing it myself right so that's why I think like first playthroughs challenge runs um, analysis of the games things like that I think like that's where the value is in streaming because like anyone can just play a game themselves you know what I mean? Like, most video games are not that hard. Some are, right? Some are legitimately hard, and you might want to watch a stream because it's literally too hard for you. But most games are not like that. And the games that I play are certainly not like that. <laughs> I have never played a game on stream that most people could not beat on their own. So I want to make sure I'm adding those sorts of things to it. So I like to add it with, like, 100% runs um, and analyzing the story and the gameplay and things like that. I love that mentality. Thank you, Ash. Thank you. And I think it's important. It's important, I think, when you're streaming something to go into it with some kind of idea or some kind of thought of like what you're doing, how you're adding, like what the point is. Um, not only because like anyone can play the game by themselves, but also because like there's a zillion people on Twitch. Okay. There's like a zillion fucking people on Twitch. Um, like, what do we have in here right now? We have five viewers. Okay, that's basically nothing. Like, that seems like nothing, but it's not really. Not when you think about the grand scheme of it. And, like, that's that. If I only have a few viewers, I'm already doing better than majority of Twitch streamers because majority of people on Twitch are typically having zero and one people, right? In their stream. Um, so I just think that, like, it's really important to know why you're doing it and what you're doing um, because of the just sheer ridiculous amount of competition on this platform. So yeah, just my little thoughts, <laughs> just my little thoughts on streaming and, and, and how and why and those sorts of things. Easy as pie. And also just because I think streaming is fun. I think it's a fun way to experience a game that I cannot do uh, playing by myself. Right on, yeah. That hat was cool to hear. Hat. Is that like what something that the kids are saying? Hat? Oh, Jane, did you ever figure out, was it you asking the question of, like, something kids were saying nowadays? Oh, they were saying, check, check, like, check, 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 check. What does it mean? Did you, did anybody ever figure out what it means? No, just a typo. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was cool to hear, is what you were saying. I understand. Yes. 
Okay, what does it mean? What does check check mean? No one knows. Oh, no one knows. Do the kids know? Are you gonna have to ask them? Sorry, we got to win. Seems local. Oh. Okay. So it's it's not a Gen Alpha thing. It's just a thing that's happening in your school. I'm going to ask. Yeah, ask them. I'm so curious. Like, what if it's neat? What if it's neat and I want to say it too? You know, but I'm not going to I'm not going to say some slang. I don't know what it means. I'm not going to be dumb like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I'm not going to be like that. Oh, you. Maybe the... Maybe the Vol Bolivar is on another part? Maybe he is on the other part of Moonflow? Because we got one of these guys, which is kind of rare to pop up here. We haven't seen a Bolivar yet, and we didn't see one in the Thunder Plains either. Might need to do some Google Gamer for a second and see what's up with that, see where we should be farming for these guys. I'm gonna check check the wiki. I'm gonna check the wiki for Bolivara. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really say. Where they are. I wonder if 10 2 has the same, like, random number generator that 10 does. Where, like, leaving and coming back would give me a different seed. With different, like, monster likelinesses. I'm gonna go back to the other side, see what's up. Okay, let's try to run around this area. Now it does say we can get them in chapter four and five as well. So they might just be rare in chapter three. And uh, we need to look for them in another chapter. But they're chapter 3, 4, and 5 in Moonflow, Thunder Plains, Cavern of Stolen Faith, and the Floating Ruins, Gagazette area. Bring it, so we might just be searching so early that they're just rare right now. But we'll walk down this road and see what happens. At least we found the Malboro, so that's something. Aha! There he is! Found you! Found you! Okay, now we just wait. Now we just wait for him to breathe fire on us. Come on, I want to feel your toasty flames. I wonder if I have to damage him a little, just like I did with the Malboro. Okay, he about to do something. Aha! Yes. Yes, okay. We did it, you guys! Awesome possum.
Okay, let's actually, um... Let's switch back to our D.Va and uh, Blue Elemental. Just to walk back up here. So I feel like we've been getting the girls too many levels. Hopefully this will get them enough levels we can see a fiend tail when we get back on the Celsius. Where do we need to go after Moonflow? Okay, so that's all the places that we need to go outside of the required mission areas. So yeah, okay. So now we're on to doing Fiend Tales in required missions. So let's see if we got enough for the Deva or the Blue Elemental. Okay, yes, his story is complete. Okay, analysis failed. This fiend has no life readings. Shinra analysis. Something's wrong. This is no ordinary Deva. Age thought to be zero, a newborn, a breed very similar to Deva, but I don't sense any human memories from it. Could it have been born a fiend? Impossible. Analysis failed. Fiend has no life readings. Shinra analysis. No amount of analysis is providing answers. This fiend appears to not be of Spira. Furthermore, it seems to be analyzing us. What? What? Something's wrong. It's laughing at us. That sound is laughing. It's totally laughing at us. Disappeared? Did it end its own life to prevent being analyzed? Something is moving this fiend. Something dark, some dark entity with a strong will and purpose. We don't know what this entity is yet. Creepy, though. It's back. It's more evolved than before. Let's try growing this thing then. Okay. I don't remember this model. This looks like a, a new model. Akimana, okay. Well, my notes did say there was a chain for this one. So, um, 
Okay, well, I guess we don't catch another one. Okay, let's see about the blue elemental. Uh, I meant to ask, who's your favorite character in 10 and 10 too? Okay, um, oh, we're not ready for blue elemental. Okay, so that's fine. I would say for, cause 10 and 10 too, like they're really kind of so companions. Like I think in my mind to me now, they can't really be separated. So yeah, so I think this is appropriate to answer for 10 and 10 too. I think my favorite character is, it's really a pair of them. It's Waka and Riku. Because they start out so ideologically opposed, right? And then they grow and like their friendship is one of the most fun and most strong by the time you get into 10-2. And they end up being um, very like ideologically similar and their personalities are already very similar. Um, but they end up growing and being able to take the best of each of their ideology and how the world works to form into something for each of them that helps them live um, a more realistic and fulfilling life. And so I just really love that. And Ten has some of the best characters in Final Fantasy. And I think Waka and Riku, both of their character arcs, uh, really exemplify how amazing the character writing is in 10 and 10 too. So yeah, I would say Waka and Riku as foils of each other as they go forward through the story for me. Okay, let's return to the airship. All right, how do I want to do this? All right, so we're on to doing the Required missions. I guess let's go down to Besaid. Oh, I do need to put him back in the party. Okay. Akamana, oh, okay. I thought he would just hold the same thing as the Deva, but he really is new. Okay, well, we'll give him a crystal bangle and we'll give him... <clears throat> I don't know if any of these is really useful for his level. I guess we can give him a ribbon, a crystal bangle and a ribbon. That's really neat. I'm looking forward to seeing their growth. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, I love what they, what they go through. I love, and I hope in the third game we get some even more character development for Riku. Um, cause there's like these little hints of additional character development that Riku could go through in this game that we don't really get to fully explore because Ten Two is so from Yuna's perspective that we just don't get as much as I would like to get on that. So. Maybe someday, in a 10-3, we can get some more uh, for Riku. So yeah. But I love all the characters. Like, when you think about uh, Final Fantasy games, and most Final Fantasy games have, like, uh, you know, their, their male main character and their female main character, right? Yuna is definitely my favorite of the female main characters in Final Fantasy. I think she's fantastic. I love her to bits. She's the best very relatable all right uh yeah be safe we're gonna go to be first mr jane just walked by and said she's playing assassin's creed that's it that's the story yes mr jane this is assassin's creed absolutely <laughs> oh my god mr jane you're my favorite we're we're, we're definitely assassinating some creeds here 100 percent. that's what's happening <laughs> the fiends? They're coming from ins But it's all right. Yeah, Waka Waka. waka. No Guess your friendly neighbor. No, you're needed. Waka can't do it all on his own apparently. He forgot his attack reels and now he's like tired and old. Okay? We have to help him out. That's okay. If he still had his attack reels, he would not need us. But he don't, so he do. Let's go save him. Oh, now he's actually going to explain the comm spheres. What, Jeff? Installing a comm sphere. A new invent. <laughs> Even though we've seen him place a bunch of them. Can we skip this? Oh, yeah. Okay, we can skip it now. It just wouldn't let me at first. There we go. I can see Yuna. Congratulations, brother.
What's up, dude? Fighting no one cares, Becklam. Mission time! Okay, let's go help him. The game just crashed. <laughs> what the, what? It just died. It was, it was about to put me in a battle and it goes whoop, and I just see my desktop. What the heck? Game, why would you betray me like this? Are you mad that I think Waka and Riku are the best characters? Did that upset you somehow? I don't understand. I would think Waka would like to be the best character. Okay, well, whatever. At least it auto-saved really close. Okay, anyways, let's try that again. <laughs> yeah, rest in pieces. That is the only thing that sucks about the HD remakes on PC. Um, they do have some pretty serious, like, crashing issues and things like that. Bree, hello! Oh my gosh! Girl, it's been forever since I've seen you in a stream. How you, how you doing? I mean, I know how you're doing, because I just I have seen you recently, but just not in a stream. Hello, hello. Oh, I see you're still wearing your little Unicorn Riri badge. That's so cute. I love when I get to see those for the Cheers peoples. Oh, I should have given Akumano a, a black tome or a black lore, whichever one. Was well, this fight taking too long? Yeah, so he can flare. I saw you were alive and knew I had to come by since I'm finally getting my Sundays back. Oh my god, you are? Oh, I'm so happy! Okay, so, like, tell me. Tell me the, the situation. Because, like, I feel like your entire weekend, Saturdays and Sundays, have been eaten up for, like, over a year now. Like, it's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long since we had a weekend with Bree. <laughs> um, really, really long time. Okay, I need to fix this. Akumana. Yeah, instead of a ribbon, I think you need... Okay, not black tome. Yeah, black lore. There we go. There. Hey, Waka, what's up? Waka. I don't know why you're so tired. You could just attack reels everything and obliterate it. Bye, Waka. We leave you. See you later. It's girl power time. Oh no, it's Valifor. So sad. Wah -wah. Oh, I can't skip. We have to see the sad scene. No, I got a job at the bank. Right. In my first five months, I had like tons what? of Sunday training Stay online, and then seasonal job opened up, so I've been working doubles every Sunday, basically. Holy shit, girl. Um, but now I'm all good with that, and the bank is closed Sundays, yes. Okay, good. Oh, oh, okay, so basically you quit the seasonal job, because it's not Christmas anymore. I'll definitely be here Sunday streams now. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy for that. Free. So, because it's a bank, though, you do work Saturday mornings, right? Because at least around here, banks are open usually from, like, 8 to 1 or 2 or something on Saturdays. And then they close early, and then they don't open again until Monday. Sorry, Valifor. Love ya. But you're evil now. Yuna. Yeah, just Yuna's fine, I... brother. Don't worry. He gets so worried when I come down Talk to Besaid, like he thinks we're gonna life. abandon the airship to go back home. Memory. It closes on the 21st, but my Sundays are done. We're open 9 to 4.15 on Saturday, so I work practically every Saturday, but you know, I'll take it, yeah. I mean, so long, getting the one guaranteed day off every week, I think is so beneficial to your schedule. Like, that's why I love having an office job, and I would never go back to anything else ever. Even if something happened where I had to, like, have a, a crappier office job, you know, with a pay cut or something, I would still take that. 
over ever doing like retail or or anything like that again because having like the two the saturday and sunday that i know i will not have to work is like so insanely valuable um why did i do that i wanted to check and see yeah we need to check we need to check and see if it's fiend tail time for our elemental okay Yes, it is. I don't think I could go back to full retail full-time at all. Corporate has its own shitty problems, but it's been a lot better for my mental health on a whole. Exactly. That's my take too. You're, yes, exactly. I will take the mental health issues of corporate type of jobs over the mental health issues of retail, retail type of jobs any day of the week. Absolutely any day of the week. Yes, 100%. Um, okay, let's see what's going on with the blue elemental. I bet he agrees and thinks that corporate jobs are better. But you know what? They don't have that in spirit, so never mind. He probably doesn't think that. Just kidding. Anyways, if he lived in our world. Do you remember the Crusaders? They protected people from sin and looked after their welfare. I was a Crusader too, but sin got me during Operation Meehan and I fell into the ocean. When I came to, I had become a fiend, but no matter. If we hadn't stopped sin there, Luca would have been the next target. I protected Luca. I protected her. My death was not in vain. Aww. There was a girl with whom I pledged eternal love. Before the operation, we lived together in Luca. If I returned safely from the battle, I was going to ask for her hand in marriage. I know that with what has happened to me, that's now impossible. But I would just like to know, is she doing well? Is she in any kind of distress? Ah, but my memories always wander towards her. She is all I care about. I cannot forget how happy we were. If I could see her again, even one time, I wonder where she could be. I recently caught wind of a rumor that my love is getting married. Not to me, of course, I'm a fiend now. All I can do is pray for her happiness, although I would like to give her my blessing in person. No, what I really want is to see her one more time. Yeah, admit it. You don't want to give her your blessing. You don't like that she's getting married, but you want to see her so that you can like emotionally say your goodbyes. That's what it is, okay? All right, okay, let's see what's going on, Mr. Blue Elemental. I didn't get an invitation, but I rushed to her wedding anyway. Congratulations! We wish you the best. Grin and bear it for now. That is how it should be, if she's happy. Yeah, you should let her be. I can't make her happy in my current state. That's right, you can't. So, you have to live with it. I would like to say something to you all. There was once another person with whom I had vowed to share my future. As a member of the Punitive Strike Force, his job was to protect Spira from sin. After hearing that he lost his life in Meehan, I... I cried every day for a long time. Welcome, Jane. Welcome back from the ad. When I was at my lowest, it was this man who pushed me back up. That was three years ago. You used to say you liked my smile. Are you still watching me from above? <gasps> Can you still hear my voice? Oh, she still misses him. I won't cry anymore. I will find happiness here in Luca, the place you gave your life to protect. So sweet. She'll be happy. Yeah, oh, this fiend can move on to the far plane now. Aww. All right, yeah, let's get the L. <laughs> Thank you so much. Queen is Queen is here. Here. I'll show you. She says thank you for her tax. She loves it and she will use it wisely um to help the people. Says she says you can trust her that she'll help the people with the taxes. <laughs> All right, let's go trap another fiend. Okay. Um what what kind of pods do we got? What pods do we got? Okay, we got a large and we got a medium. Let's try to get that, let's try to get that Xanarkin large one that we tried to get before and it didn't work out. We got a different large one instead. Okay. 
There we go, flailing Ochi. That's what I expected to get before. Okay. Do 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 do. Uh, yes. All right, we need to put the party back together with the girls because there is another blue bullet we can go get. So we have, this is in Bavel, so we gotta go back, um, I mean, not Bavel, what am I saying? This is in Besaide. So we gotta go back to Besaide to get it. Bio writing and Karen stream, fuck yeah. It feels like the good old days again. Yes, oh my God, Bree. Oh wait. Oh, that means you're gonna have way more time for RP again, too. Oh, I'm so excited. Because I always, I feel like, you know, since you've had worked so much, it's been, like, so hard. It's so hard to, like, post and work that much at the same time, you know? Um, so I feel like we've only gotten, like, little drip drops <laughs> of Brie. But now we'll have lots. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. That's gonna be so good. Yes. Okay, so there is a blue bullet we're looking for here. We are looking for um, one of those like little like uh, flower guys that shoots bullets at you. Cephalotus and Leucophilia is the names of each of them. And they can both appear in Besaid. So hopefully we will have one of them pop up. And we, we're going to learn seed, seed Cannon from it. Dun, dun, dun. Right. 2024 is really starting off so well in that department. Oh my god, I'm so ready to get back to proper storytelling with my hot, cool pals for real. I'm so happy to have you back, Bree, for real. That's so exciting. I hadn't put two and two together, but I should have when you were telling saying the first time about your job changes, that that means you're going to RP more. Oh, there's one. Perfect. Okay, so we just need it to seed cannon everybody. All right, C cannon for Riku. Oh, that's not what I meant to push. So let's get Riku to escape so that she doesn't get another seed cannon. Did Final Fantasy X always have a new game plus or is this a new thing? So this is 10 too. Final Fantasy X does not have a new game plus, but X2 has always had a new game plus. Oh, okay. They all got it. Sweet. That was easy. <gasps> all right, so that's the one that you get in Bisay. Let's go back to having our monsters in the party. So we'll do Akumon and Assassin B. And we'll make our B a caster. I didn't go far enough, I think. There it goes, ring. Okay. Yeah, Ragnarok and ring so he can flare him. Oh wait, can I just go in here? I think this is faster. Yeah, we'll just use the we'll use the save point in here to get up to the airship. So yeah, 10-2 is a very different type of um, structure of game compared to 10. Bree, it's a lot more like action. So we've done two playthroughs, so this will be our third 
This is our third playthrough. And as you can see, the the girls, the main party's not here. It's it's monsters. Um, so that's what we're doing for our third playthrough is we're getting all the fiend tales. So if you cap you there's like a mini game basically where you capture monsters. And if you level up those monsters a few times, you can release them for like an extra little scene, and it's called Fiend Tales. So that's basically what this what Fiend Tales run means. And um, for this game, a 100% run is actually called a 200% run. So that's why we're playing it like again over and over so many times, because I want to show you guys everything in the game. So to do, to do that 200% run, as it's called, you have to end up playing a bunch of times. So we're on the third playthrough, and we're doing all the Fiend Tales. Which is why at this point also you'll see me like skipping scenes and stuff like that. Cause like, if we've seen the scene, if we've seen the scene, if we've seen the scene before, there's like no point, you know? Um, Y'all have experienced it, yeah. So, okay. Yeah, let's go to Killika next. I love a good game with monsters, fuck yeah. And it's all the same models as 10, so it's all the monster models that you love from my 10 playthrough. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know what's up. Uh, yes, I do this on my own for The Last of Us, but I never realized it was something out of The Last of Us, so I'm very intrigued. Yes. Yeah, yeah, 100% runs are totally a thing. Um, and lots of games have a new game plus. So that's, uh, that's something that I like to do, you know, for you guys on stream is to actually make sure I show you everything. Okay, so we get a peek through the telescope. So that we can get our accessory at the end, because it's chapter three. So you got to do this in chapter one, three, and five. So we're doing that. Okay. I'm not really expanded my games in so long. It's showing. <laughs> That's okay, though. Like, you don't have to, you know? If you like certain games, it's okay to play those games over and over. It doesn't really change, like, you being a gamer or not being a gamer. Oh, yeah, we have to do the stupid mini game with Donna, don't we? Have you played the me remastered Spyro trilogy? No, I have not. I did play Spyro as a kid, but I'm really I was crappy at platformers then and I'm crappy at platformers now. So, um, so I never really got very far My. in it, you know. My. But I did love it. Like it was really good. I I enjoyed playing the first few levels that I could beat over and over. <laughs> you know, as a kid. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can do this right this time. This will be our third attempt, and I think we failed the other two. Um, so let's see if we can do this right. Okay, A is rush the gate. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how to do this. I just uh, failed at it. You only get one chance to make it count. I know. Can't do platformers. You got it, Karen. Thank you. Three Masters insane. It's so fun, but so difficult. I don't know how I played so well as a kid. Well, as a kid, you have so much more time to, like, dedicate to this shit. Okay, open the gate. Run. We did it! Yes, did it right this time. Okay, so we get the chest. So this is, like, the one chest I haven't shown you guys. If you do that right, you can open this chest and you get a Bushido lore. There we go. I did it right Yo, this time. what are you doing? Um, uh, run. platformers. So like games where you have to like jump around like There's Mario, I guess would be the, the quintessential tops. platformer. Um, it's basically like jump and shoot, jump and shoot games like Mega Man or like Mario. And I just don't have any aim. So <laughs> I'm really bad at them. Like Mario for me as a kid would be just playing certain levels that I could beat. Or, like, learning how to do level skips so I could skip a bunch of the game because I was bad at it. You know? Like, that was my experience with Mario as a child. Okay, so we actually need to switch over to the girls for just a little bit. Right here. Because guess what? There's a blue bullet here, too. There's lots of blue bullets in Chapter 3. And let's save. Okay. Let's make it, um, I don't want to do this. Because I feel like, I think this is, this is a rare one to come up. No, I don't want to speed up, but I do want to, yeah, frequent encounters. 
I found my old OG DS and put Super Mario Bros. I guess they were not for me either. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Hey, how are you doing? Um, here's what I wanted. He's going to use Storm Cannon on us. Hopefully we don't die. Uh, he's very fucking annoying, as you can see. And we might die. Um, but we need Storm Cannon for the blue bullets. So, yeah, that's what we're going to try to do. And I think he just uses it after a certain number of turns. It's the one where he like opens up his chest and does the, does an attack. But this is him, yeah, Ironside, yeah. Come on, do your storm cannon. Do I need... Uh, I feel like I want... I want more HP. Yeah, give me more HP. Oh yeah, he opened up his chest, so he's gonna do the thing. I probably didn't even need to do this, because I've got like the good accessories, but whatever. Whatever. Storm Cannon, don't, don't kill me. Okay, did everybody learn it, or did only Yuna and Riku learn it? Oh no, they all learned it, okay good. Now we can kill him. That wasn't so bad, I thought that was gonna be worse than what it was. I guess when you fight him the first time, it's like, you know, really hard, but like, now that we've got all these OP accessories, he's not hard anymore. God, he still takes forever to die, though. Look at that defense! Brian and Karen, I got a plot. Reminds me of, yes. Please. Please. Please send me plot. Please send me plot. When, I, right now, for when, I have plots with, um, with Noms, since she's playing, um, Wen's daddy. Um, so Noms and I got plots. Uh, we, yeah, and then I'm gonna, we're gonna try, um, pairing Wen with Tommy. I think that would be very cute. So that's what Shadow and I are working on. That's what I got so far for the Wen-Wen. Yes, absolutely. I wonder how many people actually think Bree stands for Bri Brian, but, but it does. Join Vasa's star. New roleplay launching this Friday. <laughs> link it! Link it, link it, link it, Jane. Link it. Oh my god, he did it again before I killed him. Just die already. Jesus. He has too much defenses. Just doesn't die. I got your Duskborn sister. Fuck yeah. What if I Storm cannon him back? Right, that is what he's doing, right? Yeah, Storm cannon. What if I do it back? Oh, it comes out of the gun! Does it do anything? Oh, it does! Hey, wait, let's do that again. And you thought they were mad. I feel like I'm committed to killing him now, even though he's taking forever. <laughs> Riku, so sure. Three times, three times she was so sure she had the kill shot. Uh, but now she finally got the kill shot. Okay, got that one. Okay, we can switch back to our Monstars now. What do I have them equipped with? Crystal Bangle. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> Lunar! Lunar, my love. How was your Sunday? 
How are the kids? How is church? Okay, so now we gotta go up to each of these barriers and then we should be able to traverse the trees. It was great, only two and they played together. That sounds like the ideal situation. <laughs> <laughs> Only two and they entertained each other. You didn't even have to do much. So that's good. Just watch them. I love that. Gave me time to plan my subathon idea. You're gonna do a subathon? What wait, when are you gonna do a subathon? I've never done one. I've just participated in other people's. So I don't know anything about it. You know, not really. Like, I know only from a viewer's perspective. I am probably this summer. Fuck yeah. Oh, that sounds so cool. Okay, wait. All y'all. All y'all. Hello. This is something for all y'all. Go follow best friend of the stream, Club Moon. She streams wolves. If you like wolves... If you like werewolves, if you like sims, then you definitely need to go follow uh, Lunar. If you like any of those things. And if you don't like some of those things, like I don't I don't even know. Everyone at least likes one of those Donna. things. Said. So wait, what is so what are you doing for your Sumbathon? Like how are you gonna do it? I can't believe they killed Akumana. Avenge him, Assassin B. We're probably about to get a game over. Yep, I knew it. Dang it. Whatever. So rude. I guess I really do need Iron Duke. But it's the stupid Kowirls. That's why it happened. Okay, um, load. Let's see. Okay, yes, this save is better. Is the run dead now then? No, 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 no. No, I just have to go back to here. No, this isn't like a hardcore situation. I'm still doing research. I've never done one, so I'm doing lots of research. Yeah, I've never done one like that either. Okay. Um, abilities. Let me make sure. Did I save after getting the storm cannon? Yes, I did. Okay, that was smart of me. Okay, let's put Akumana, Assassin B. Um, oh, I need to take, um... Yeah, I need to take the Iron Bangle off of the girls. Or the Iron Duke. Remove. Okay. <clears throat> All right, once again, we walk up to each of these. Go to the third one, and then we should be able to run across the treetops. Oh, no, 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 no. Run away. Run away. We're not even bothering with that. Get out. Thank you. Thing will take forever, and they probably won't even make it. Alright, third barrier. Now let's go along the treetops.
Donna said... Donna said a lot of things. There we go. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay, now we're up over back over to things that our fiends can kill. Easy peasy. Well, I'm surprised I didn't kill them. They have more HP than I thought they would. Alright, so we're going to do the required thing in Kilika next. And then... Just looking at what else we have to do in this chapter. Alright, after Kilika, there is one other thing that's not like part of the required stuff that we're going to go do. And then that's basically the whole chapter until ending it, so we'll go do Fiend Tales after that. So it actually took a minute to get through all of the actual, like, chapter 3 chapter stuff that we wanted to do. Got him. Oh no. Mission time. If it got blue flames, that's bad. Bad, bad for if it. Are you playing on controller or mouse and keyboard? I have a controller. I think for Final Fantasy games, for the most part, like they they're intended to be played on consoles. So I use controller. Cause I just think like that's just how they're most comfortable. Valid, I'm a controller girly, yeah. I mean I will use mouse and keyboard when a game is designed for mouse and keyboard. But, like, if the game's designed for controller, I'm going to use a controller. You know, I'd basically, I will choose whatever, whatever is obvious to me that the game devs intended. You know? And for most games, honestly, I feel like that's controller. Like, most game devs design their games for controllers.
Same, yeah. Fortnite turned into a bunch of keyboard warriors and stopped being fun. Oh, really? I always assume because Fortnite is on like every platform that it's a controller game. But there's people that play mouse and keyboard. Are they like just trying to min max? Like BOP? Because I know like for most shooter games that are on like multiple, um, that are on like multiple consoles, cross platform and all that stuff. Like, mouse and keyboard is faster a lot of times when it comes to shooters. But I'd always assume that game was kind of like a controller game. I was watching Pirate Software and he said, even if a game is made for PC, devs often put controller because it's easier to map buttons for accessibility, yeah. I think a controller is far more accessible for most people. Like, keyboards just have too many buttons and too many decisions that you, as the player, would need to make and tweak to make it optimal. Whereas a controller, there's only so many configurations that can be optimal. I like Fortnite better on keyboard, too many buttons for controller. I see. I don't know, I literally have never played Fortnite. <laughs> I've never played it, so I don't know, but I'd always kind of assumed, you know. That it was a controller sort of game. All I really know about Fortnite is that lots of kids play it. Man, I love when they just open up with the flare. When the fiends open up with the flare, that's the best. Welcome back from the ad. Thank you so much for tolerating the ad. I'd turn those off if Twitch let me. I would have no ad streams if Twitch gave me that option. I think my issue with cross-compatibility with console to PC is PC players' rate of speed will typically always be faster. We do have aim assist on controller for Fortnite. Yeah, I feel like aim assist is like where they, they try to like make it okay, but it doesn't really... It, PC's still faster. Mouse and keyboard's still faster. The flick of the wrist for a full 180 on PC is probably invaluable though in comparison, yeah. That's what my understanding has always been that like... There's just no way for the top console players to ever be faster than the top PC players. It's just not possible. Just what the tools, what the tools can do, what the controls can do, you know. Which is annoying. Like, and I don't think it's fair or right, but you know, that's true.
Sky if it... It should be optional whether you want to play cross-platform like Street Fighter does. Oh, that's smart. So you like you can join cross-platform or not join cross-platform so that you don't get just destroyed by the PC players. Which is what made it fun as people got better. I refuse to play with building on now because we just can't build that way on PC or PS4. Oh, I see, I see. So PS4 just can't do the building stuff the way that PC players can just because of the the different controls and things you can hotkey. That makes sense to me. I never understood the building stuff anyway. <laughs> I mean, to me, it's a shooter, so I don't really get it. But, you know, I don't know nothing. Can't skip this one. Okay, whatever. Another hole. So many holes. All right, flames are back to red. Yay! The temple is saved. Mission complete. I've just learned I need to stick to killing zombies and scavenging abandoned buildings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's that last hot spot. We are not gonna go there because that's gonna take us to the point of no return, which we don't want to do yet. We've got lots more to do in chapter three with our fiend tails. Uh, let's go see if we finished either of these guys. Uh, yes, okay. Analysis failed. Fiend has no life readings. Shinra analysis. This fiend has been reborn. Age thought to be about three. It died once and then was reborn. It's evolution. The fiend is going through a sudden mutation. It seems to be phasing between this world and the far plane. Uh, Shinra analysis. I can feel something. It's like it's trying to communicate with me, but it speaks some unknown language. Maybe it's not talking to us, but to some faraway world. This fiend may be a visitor from another world. I don't like this one laughing at me too. This one laughing at me too. I hear that noise. It's starting again. The fiend sheds its life like others shed their skin. Through constant death and rebirth, it evolves. It's the third form. It's quite powerful. Okay, it's another different color Deva model. Ashima. Okay. All right. Um, let's see if the B is ready. Totally random, but if you watched Wheel of Time, I started and finally couldn't help, but I think about how it felt like a Karen show. No, I have not watched it. No. Um, mm -mm. I heard it wasn't very good. Did you like it? Maybe I can give it another try. Uh, oh, yeah, he's so not ready yet. Okay. It makes sense, because he kept dying. Okay, let's put Ashima in the party. Apparently, he grows a third time. According to the notes that I have about, about him. Okay, there we go. I like it, but it has some Rosamund Pike on bias. <laughs> oh, I see, I see, I see. Um, no, we're watching. Uh, we're watching the the Percy Jackson show right now on Disney Plus. We're, we've watched the first two episodes. I'm enjoying it. I never read the books. I don't really know anything except that it's based on a lot of um, Greek myths, which I am very familiar with the the Greek and Roman myths. 
Um, but I like what I see so far of that show. It's pretty good for the first two episodes. I've enjoyed it. It's like good, good action. Um, it's got a lot of like child and teen actors, um, all of which are pretty good. Like I haven't been, I haven't been like cringing at the the teen and child performances uh, yet <laughs> for the first two episodes. You know. Um. So yeah, that's what we're watching right now. All right, let's see. We're gonna go into Bavel next. We don't need to see this. Can I skip? It's not letting me skip. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Gibbon. What is he doing here? How can we ever guess? Okay. Can I take the thing now? Yes. I'm slightly faster down just this part of the path. So helpful. All right, so in Bavel, we need to go get a Crimson Sphere. So this is a missable Crimson Sphere, and we want to be able to open the Den of Woe in this playthrough, so we have to get it. Remember, the whole reason we want to open the Den of Woe is because there's a blue bullet that we can get from the fight down there. So we have to do this to get all the blue bullets, one of the goals of this run. So we're going to go all the way down to where the Vegna Gun Hole is. Um... Oh my gosh, get out of my way, monks. Oh, we have to reset the thing because it's a new chapter. I've been wanting to watch it if you're still enjoying it without reading the books. Yeah, I have not read the books at all, and I'm enjoying it. I'm not having um, any trouble following what's going on or or anything like that. Um, and it's fun, you know? I mean, because they're like middle grade books, right? Like, at least the beginning ones, like... Oh, I guess I gotta go to the other room. Um, like they're 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 for kids, right? For young teens, for like preteens and stuff. Um, and what I've seen so far is really fun. Okay, yeah, we just gotta change this. Down, down. Sugar, we're going down swinging. All right, here we go. And we're just going to traverse all the way to the Vegna gun hole. And you know what I realized? I did not look ahead on the Percy Jackson show to see if it's like posting episode by episode or if it's all already all out at once and we can just watch the whole season. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember how Disney Plus does their shows and I just now realized that even though we've watched it for two days. I need to actually peek at that and see what's true because I don't, I don't know. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, on, that's on my bad. It comes out weekly? Okay. How many episodes are out so far then? Let's see. Percy Jackson Disney Plus episodes. Comes out weekly that I know of? Okay. Oh, you're right, because the first three episodes came out in December, and then it says the fourth one came out January 2nd, and the fifth one comes out on Tuesday. Okay, so it posts every Tuesday. It posts every Tuesday. There's something to be said about a show coming out every week, you know? The hype, the anticipation, the thoughts in between. There's value there that you don't get with a binging show. So I'm not mad at it, it's fine. It does do this really funny thing though, 
It's on Disney Plus, right? It's a streaming show, and yet halfway through the episode, it fades to black and then comes back as if it's like got a slot in it for uh, for commercials. <laughs> like what? What commercials? Where it like if I every ver the first two episodes, both of them did it, blew my mind. I was like, why? There are none. Binging is fun, but I love the anticipation, yeah. There's just something about it, you know? There's something about it that binging loses, as far as, like, the conversation and the thoughts that you can have about the show. And the, the fun stuff that you can do about, like, anticipating what comes next and, uh, and things like that. Or it, with a binging show, there's no anticipation, you just watch it. And then it's done. And I guess you can anticipate the next season, but that's like a different thing than anticipating week to week. Prime Video is bringing commercials into streaming. I'm so mad I heard about that. I don't understand. I don't understand. I give... I give Amazon an embarrassingly stupid amount of money. I do not deserve commercials. Like... Like what? It frustrates me that they would do this. It's like going the same the same road as like cable and all that stuff. You pay this big fee so there's that there's no commercials on these premium channels. And these premium channels start adding commercials in anyway. And you still pay for them. You still pay a premium for them. Streaming is starting to do the same nonsense. Like they just can't. Like these corporations just cannot fucking help themselves. They're just so greedy. It's insane. Last year I was watching Chicago PD and the first seven seasons were free, but then you had to pay for season eight through 10. And the seasons I had to pay extra for had commercials. Why? Why are there commercials in a show that you're paying extra for? That is just ridiculous. Brie, I'm sorry that happened to you. That's insane. It's so greedy. It's so greedy. Should not be a thing. Like, you want more of my money and now you're giving me commercials? I think they forgot what made them popular and different, right? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's just wrong. It's wrong and it shouldn't be a thing. But it will continue to be a thing. Like, it's not gonna stop. So it's just disgusting. Oh no! Don't game over! Wait, 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 wait. Run away, run away! Run away! Oh, he- he did the cure. <laughs> I thought they weren't gonna cure. Okay, wait, let's- let me- hang on. Boys, I'm sorry. Uh, let's get him an ether. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry, that wasn't supposed to happen, my fiends. I just wasn't paying attention over here ranting about commercials on premium streaming and almost let Eshma die. And my beef who needs to live. Big 2024 problem, okay, yeah, it really is. And I just think it's gonna get worse. You know, I don't see that getting better, you know? I do not see that getting better at all.
in 2030 they're gonna have a, they're gonna have us have a commercial break as long as the episode in between each one. Oh my God, Bree, do not speak it. Do not speak it. You're gonna give them ideas. <laughs> You're gonna give them ideas. <sighs> But yeah, totally. I could see it, yeah. Exactly, Ash. I need to copyright the idea. <laughs> yeah, trademark it. Trademark it, Brie. Gatekeep girl boss that idea and then go after anybody who tries to violate your trademark. All right, again, this is another chance to get the Ragnarok, I mean, the, the ring and the bloodlust accessories if you want to get those again. We're not going to bother. Ragnarok, yeah. No, that's not where you get it. I, w I misspoke. You get Ragnarok a different way. But there is an accessory called Ragnarok. We have it. Excuse me. Oh, it's like Final Fantasy X versus Marvel. <laughs> no, they're just both pulling from the same source material of uh, of the myths. A lot of the names of things in uh, in Final Fantasies are from myths of tons of different cultures. Forgot that Marvel didn't own Ragnarok for a second. They probably think they do. Remember when Marvel tried to copyright, like, Loki and, um, and Thor? <laughs> As if those are not ancient gods. Like, what? You cannot copyright Loki. <laughs> Loki existed before Marvel and will exist after Marvel. Um, but yeah, they've gone after... They've gone after, like, uh, smaller creators who have made, like, Loki and Thor stuff that doesn't have to do with Marvel. Marvel thinks they own the planet at this point. One day, the windows will t descend. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, they did. Yeah, it was like a, um, I can't remember what website it was on, but it was on one of those, like, websites where you can, like, sell art of things. Like, you know how, like, on Redbubble you can sell, like, t-shirts of your art or stuff like that? It was on one of those type of websites. Maybe it was Etsy? Maybe it was Etsy or something, was an and um, Why did you I can't remember. But anyways, yeah, Marvel put in a bunch that? of like, uh, put in a bunch of like um, cease and desists or like us. takedowns on the content that mentioned Loki, even if that that version of Loki had nothing to do uh. with Marvel's Loki. Um, it was a whole thing. It was a whole thing, but they did do that. I wish I could remember what website so I could look it up and tell you the details. But it was several years ago yeah, at this point, um, at the height when, like, um, Loki was really super popular because Avengers was, like, we'll popping off, you know, with the movies and stuff. No. Okay, this is what we came for, Crimson Sphere 1. All right, now we can run back to the save point. And that is what we needed to get from here. Now, if you are not lucky enough to find a Malboro in um, the Thunder Plains or in Besaid, we found we found it on in Thunder Plains. Okay, so we don't have to do this. But after you do that Bavel scene where you fight the Malboro right there, the Malboros will become much more frequent in both Besaid and the Thunder Plains. So if you didn't happen to get one for getting your um, your Bad Breath Blue Bullet. Go try again after doing Bevel, and you'll be way more likely to get it. <gasps> oh my gosh, Drow feels. Hello, Bobby. How are you? It was Red Bubble. Yeah. Okay. I knew I wasn't making that up. Thank you, Bree. You remember what I'm talking about? Yes. It was insane. 
Playtime, let's go. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah. How are you doing today, Bobby? Um, okay, let's go see if either of these fiend tales are available. We can watch them. Okay. Yes, it came directly from Redbubble, actually, because Marvel trademarked Marvel Loki. Yeah, it's insane. You can't trademark that. That's so stupid. So, like, people that had not- they were posting Loki stuff that had nothing to do with Marvel's Loki were getting hit. Okay. Analysis failed. Fiend has no life readings. Ready to go. Let's go. Fuck yeah. I'm so happy. I'm so happy it's playtime for you. You can you can see this really weird one. Um, I assume it's going to be really weird. The other two in the sequence have been. Shinra analysis. This fiend has been reborn, age thought to be about 10. It seems to have acquired linguistic capabilities. It says it's an envoy from the fiend world, but it's just a kid. So this fiend is from the fiend world. It's a place located between spirit and the far plane. Analysis failed. Fiend has no life readings. Oh my god, it's laughing at me too. It's making that laugh sound. Um, Shinra analysis. It's building up power. Could it be preparing to evolve again? I checked the ancient texts and found a legend that tells of a fiend world between Spira and the far plane. This fiend is a rare species called an envoy from the fiend world. It appears to have awoken for some purpose. Oh wait. Oh, I thought it was ready. It's not ready. Dang it. It still needs more levels. Okay. How close does the assassin be? Yeah, that was wishful thinking. <laughs> um, let's get them some levels and do their fiend tales before we are done with this episode. I really wanna, I wanna see it. I know. Um, let's go do. Yeah, let's go beat up. Let's go beat up a tournament. Yes. Marvel hired Rachel Weiss and got her out of her living room, so they got my vote, though. <laughs> oh, Brie, you crack me up. You crack me up. Is that right? Why aren't my exclamation... There... Oh, it's gift list. Oh my gosh, can't even remember my own commands. There we go. I'm a simple gal, there's a MILF I'm in, right? <laughs> There we go. Okay. Gift list. There's all the fun gifts you guys can do in the stream. Kendra just did a random one, but you can do all, all of them with the commands. Oh, they beat him up pretty quick. Good job, you guys. Uh, yes, we'll get the special one. Can we buy a gift? Is that a thing? So, so for the gifts, um, we have those for games that we have beaten. So we make the we choose the gifts based on that. Oh no, they killed the bee! They killed the bee so fast. Avenge the Meshma. Yeah, so those are all games that we've played. That's why they're gifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why there's like all the different, all the different ones are like looking familiar, you know? I actually need to add a new Final Fantasy 10 or 10 2 gift because we have Lulu from our first, the first, from um, just beating Final Fantasy 10, Waka for the 100%. We have YRP for the first time that we beat 10 2, and then we have, we beat it twice, so we need a, we need another one. Uh, thank you so much for the hydrate friend. Doing a tour of the best, that's good. <laughs> yeah, we need to add another 10 or 10 2 gift for the, the second time beating 10 2.
Thank you for av avenging your bee friend, Ashma. Uh, yeah, we can get the S. Get him, guys. Get him. Okay, we definitely got their fiend tails now. We're gonna get the bonus because we won. Uh, yes, we do need more M's. That's good. Okay. All right, let's go watch their fiend tails. Oh, it's an ad. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry you're in an ad right now. Okay, let's wait for them to get out the ad, and then we'll go, we'll do the fiend tail. Let's, let's make sure they're both up. Okay, yes. And I'm sure that Ashma's is up. Get out of the ad, that's right, Bree. <laughs> okay, yeah, Ashma's is up. And we already read the level one and level two story. All right, welcome back from the ad. Thanks for tolerating that. I would turn them off if Twitch let me. Okay, Ashima's actually ready now, so we're gonna release, and we're gonna see what this 10-year-old reborn fiend world thing is about. <clears throat> Not yet. Hmm? Is it finished? Looks like it perished. Small folk. So you are the arbiters of this world. Something weird's coming out. Hold on. What does it mean, Arbiter? Now, if Yuna were in this situation, she would, you know, think and... I'll handle this. All right, Shinra, what you gonna do? My name is Shinra of the Gull Rings. I represent Spira. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure you do. Prove your mettle. Raise my powers. Okay. Sure. Jahi. Okay. Uh, so it evolved again. We definitely want to put him in the team. Okay, he's another medium. So we're gonna need to capture another small. Okay, let's go see about the bees, uh, fiend tail. Should have him now too. Yes, okay, let's read his. I'm scared to be alone, especially in the dark. Have you seen my mommy and daddy? I've waited so long and searched everywhere, but I can't find them. I just woke up one day and was alone and... A monster! Mommy, daddy, help me! Oh no, this one doesn't know he's a fiend. 
Why haven't they come looking for me? Have they forgotten me? I love my mommy and daddy, but why? Why did they leave me? They must hate me. They don't want me anymore. I promise to be a good boy. I'll be good, so please come back. I just want you to love me. I want to see you again. Please, mom, dad. Where are you? Where can I see you again? They say if I go to that far plane place, I can see my mommy and daddy again. Can you help me get there? Please, I need your help. Take me to mommy and daddy. Oh my god. No, it's a baby fiend. Oh, we are going to take him to the far plane. Okay. Maybe he can pass on and be okay. Daddy, mommy? So I guess you really aren't coming. Actually, I already knew from the very beginning. I knew that you both wouldn't come. Because I was an unwanted child. That's why I was... Abandoned. You weren't abandoned, everyone died! There's no way. Assassin Bee. Mommy, Daddy! See, like, they died. You just became a fiend instead of passing on. You weren't unwanted. Don't ever say that. But you abandoned. We wanted to save you. From sin. But I guess it was for nothing. I'm so sorry. Don't you mean it? Of course. We'll always be together from now on. We'll never let you go again. Yay, he can pass on with them. Yes! <sighs> that was so sad. Um, yeah, we can get the L1. Okay. Alright, you guys. So we have lots more fiend tales to do in this chapter, um, but that's the ones, thank you so much Geekster, thank you so much, but that's the ones we're going to see today. So yeah, yeah it's so sad. The fiend tales are sad sometimes. <laughs> thank you so much, thank you so much, that's right. Um, okay. If you are watching the recording of this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you're not following the Twitch, come follow the Twitch where we do this live. Once we reach 500 followers, we are gonna have a special stream. I already know what it's gonna be. Um, we're gonna be uh, doing Sims and Slime. We're gonna have some throwback stuff that we haven't done in a while. So Sims and Slime, that's gonna be for 500 followers. So yeah, if you're watching the recording on YouTube, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.